I want to show you a quick way to tune the guitar like we used to do in the 70s. It's a great way to tune it quick and a lot of studio guitarists in the past used this technique before they had smartphones. And it's a great way to just ensure that you accurately tune your guitar. And it's a lot more reliable, I think, than the typical way of that you'll learn in any music book of doing this. Always seems like you're off when you try that method. This method, the new method I'm going to show you, actually not new, is called octaves. What you want to do is you want to you can tune your low E to, for example, the 10 Years After band song called I'd Love to Change the World. That's a low E on a guitar tuned to the piano. You get that note, then you're going to play octaves. You want to get the fifth string by going up to the seventh fret on the fifth string from the bottom, and you want to, it should be the, an octave higher than the top string. Okay, then you want to get the fourth string. It needs to be an octave higher than the sixth string from the bottom as well. So we're talking about the second fret of the fourth string from the bottom. It should be the same. It should be an octave higher than the sixth string from the bottom. You want to tune the third string from the, from the bottom at the second fret so that it's an octave higher than the fifth string from the bottom. So. Then you want to uh, tune your second string from the bottom at the third fret so that it is an octave higher than the fourth string open from the bottom. You can check it by the seventh fret on the third string from the bottom should be an octave higher also than the fourth string from the bottom. Then finally you want to tune the bottom string third fret so it's an octave higher than the third string from the bottom. So you can tune it like this. This should match, be an octave apart. Quick way to tune it. It's a way in the past studio guitarists would use to make sure they're quickly in tune. You test it like this. You could suspend it on the third fret. Do a bar of C. Suspend it.